unique and indelible mark on their work. The TCM Wine Club. Join now at tcmwineclub.com or call 1-844-WINE-TCM. and thanks so much for joining me for our third and final night of our TCM Spotlight on Asian Americans in Hollywood. And I'm so happy to have with me yet again, Nancy Kwan. Great to see you, Nancy. Lovely seeing you too. Good to be back. And I'm particularly excited because we're kicking tonight off with a movie that stars you, the wonderful musical Flower Drum Song from 1961. Nancy, I can only imagine what an exciting time this must have been in your life, the early 60s. You had just come off the world of Susie Wong, which was a huge smash. You won a Golden Globe Award for it. And then you went right into this phenomenal role in Flower Drum Song. What do you remember about this time? Well, it was a very exciting time. And I'm very, very proud of Flower Drum Song because it was the first film with an all Asian cast made by a large motion picture studio. And at the box office, it was also a financial success. So all in all, the Asian community were very proud of this film. When you think back to all of your co-stars in this film, were they people that you already knew? Were there people that you just met on the film, a combination of the two? Um, both. I had a girlfriend that came from New York, and I was uh, with her on the stage production of The World of Susie Wong. So she's a dancer and an actress, so I said, come on out and be in front of them some. And um, who else did I know? Oh, Pat Ajayaki is another good friend of mine, a dancer. Oh, we have some great dancers in this film, too. And then Jimmy, Jimmy Shigeta, and uh, Miyoshi, Yumeki, and Jasu. Great cast, lovely people to work with, and a lot of fun. Well, you talk about the dancing in this movie, and there's so many fantastic dance sequences, which, of course, were choreographed by Hermes Pan, a legendary choreographer. And it's great that you were able to do some dancing in this movie because you actually trained at the Royal Ballet in London, didn't you? Yes, I was at the Royal Ballet, and I actually always wanted to be a ballet dancer. But it's fate, I guess, that brought me to be an actress. But um, I have a story, a charming story about uh, Hermes Pan. Hermes is a very talented choreographer, and he did most of his films with Fred Astaire. Fred used him in, I would say, probably most of his films. They, they, they kind of move alike, and they look a little similar, too. So for uh, Flower Drum Song, we had six weeks of rehearsals for the musical numbers. So one day, we're doing, I think it was Grand Avenue, and there were the dancers behind me, and I was dancing away, checking myself out in the mirror, and checking out the dancers, making sure that we were moving in the right direction. And I look over at uh, Hermes by the piano, and I look, and I'm like, hmm, looks strange, Hermes looks strange. So I look again, and I realize, I said, that's Fred Stair. And I said, Fred is there, is here watching us dance. And by that time, all the dancers behind me were sneaking glances at Fred is there. So finally, I don't know how, we got through the number without trolling on our faces. And we did. And he came and congratulated us and talked to us. And later on, I got to know him. Hermes and I used to go up to his house and they would talk about, you know, all the films he did in the past. And it's, for me, it was something really worthwhile listening to the both of them. It was a wonderful, wonderful time. I can only imagine, wow, you must have been shocked to see him. That's a great story. I mean, you, you mentioned the fact that it was the first studio film to have an all-Asian cast, and that's been talked about a lot. Did it feel like as much of a milestone at the time? No, only later on, looking back, I realized, wow, it is kind of a milestone. Right. So as we're about to watch it, is there a favorite number, a favorite sequence of yours that people should be paying special attention to? 
No, I love the musical numbers, but Love Look Away is one of my favorite songs. And Reiko Sato was a wonderful dancer. And uh, she sang that song. I love that song. And oh, Jackson. Fun, fun, fun to work with. Oh, that's great. Well, I hope everyone enjoys Jack Su, James Shigeta, and Miyoshi Yumeki, and Nancy Kwan in the wonderful musical from 1961, Flower Drum Song. <laughs> I'm back to talk about Flower Drum Song with one of its stars, Nancy Kwan. Nancy, I can see why that movie got five Oscar nominations. It's so beautiful. But I was curious to learn that the singer, B.J. Baker, who's actually one of Mickey Rooney's ex-wives, did the singing for your character in the movie. Was that something that you were okay with? Did you have the chance to sing yourself? What happened there? I'm not a great singer, but I can sing. But no, Ross says, no, Nancy, we're going to have so-and-so W, and uh, that's it. So I said, okay, she makes me look better. Terrific. I like that attitude. That's very smart. Meanwhile, uh, Miyoshi Yumeki, of course, who had recently won an Oscar for Sayonara, which we're going to be showing next, by the way, um, she actually had performed the same role on stage. So she actually did have a dance and musical background, even as a young child. Yeah, she did. I think she was a, a singer. She did a lot of singing in Japan in shows before coming to America. And uh, you know, she was a very lovely, very sensitive woman. And um, she was on Broadway with Flower Drum Song. Right. Well, as we mentioned before the movie, this was a groundbreaking film. The first Hollywood studio film to have an all-Asian cast. It has not happened that many times since. I'm thinking of Joy Luck Club, maybe, and then more recently, Crazy Rich Asians, which was based on a book by the writer Kevin Kwan, who is actually your cousin. Yes. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's great. I mean, I love his book, and I love the film, too. And I think he gave an opportunity to a lot of uh, Asian actors uh, in good roles, you know. And um, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very proud for Kevin and of the film. All right, well, when we return, Nancy and I will be back with another film starring Miyoshi Yubeki, this time her Oscar-winning performance alongside Red Buttons and Marlon Brando. <laughs> 